want to bring in our guys here, guys and girls here, to talk a little bit more about this matchup. And let's start with Marcus. Who needs their number one wide receiver more out of these two quarterbacks, Drew Brees or Aaron Rodgers? We know it's Drew Brees. Everybody on here know th th this panel knows it's Drew Brees. Listen, Drew Brees talked about after the loss to the Raiders in Las Vegas of him and his receivers not being in sync. Well, you know who he's in sync with? Michael Thomas. They can do it in their sleep. He's always had that guy. When I was playing, it was Marcus Colston. That was the guy that you could rely on him and Drew Brees making plays throughout the game. Let alone Michael Thomas arguably being the best wide receiver in the game. So look, all of the things that we've been talking about, Drew Brees' arm strength, his air yards per attempt, I, I got that from Mina Kimes. I feel good about putting that all together just now. <laughs> and then we talk about how he's looked, how he's looked, throwing an interception in the two minute, missing guys, not being on the same page. He needs Michael Thomas more than anybody Aaron Rodgers needs on his team. <laughs> I agree, and not just because you cited me, Marcus. Um, Michael Thomas being out hurts the Saints offense more than Devontae Adams potentially being out because Devontae Adams is no longer the entire offense in Green Bay like he was sometimes last year for a few reasons. One, I I'm like Alan Lazard's biggest cheerleader. I have been for a while. Uh, ranks near the top of the league in yards per target, which is a metric I like. Aaron Rodgers trusts him on third or even fourth down. He's been very reliable for him. But also, uh, Matt LaFleur has shown the influence of Kyle Shanahan getting running backs, in some cases even their fullback, involved in the passing game. When they're on the field, you don't know if they're blocking, running, or catching passes, using deception. The Packers offense has been much more creative this season. And I think even without Adams, they'll still find a way to generate open guys for Aaron Rodgers. Mina, um... I realize that this question may seem ridiculous considering all that Drew Brees has accomplished, but it's no secret that he has struggled thus far this season. So let's say he struggles, doesn't perform in this one. What should the Saints be doing at quarterback? And just a reminder for those out there who may have forgotten, Jameis Winston is on the roster. I didn't want to say it, but if Drew Brees' name wasn't Drew Brees, They'd be moving on to James. And you guys know I'm right. Ryan Clark, back me up here. If that was not Drew Brees out there, if it was any other quarterback playing the way he has, not only through weeks one and two, but okay. the end of last season, you have to remember, this has been going on for a while, Jameis would be in there. <laughs> right. Get in here, Ryan. Hey, hey, I listen. I see you. Marcus is over here caping. Marcus is over here caping for Drew Brees. You heard that Drew said that him and his receivers weren't on the same page. Hey, man, you ain't got to be on the same page when you still got it. He ain't got it no more. And if it wasn't Drew Brees, he not Ooh. only wouldn't be quarterback in this team this year or this week, he wouldn't be there. And I was looking around because I live in Louisiana. I didn't know if people were sneaking in my bushes trying to wait for me to answer this question. <laughs> but Drew Brees is going to be the reason that this team doesn't win the Super Bowl. Every year, there's been the Minneapolis miracle. Last year, they say Kyle Rudolph pushed off. There was a missed DPI call against the Los Angeles Rams. Sean Payton is going to have to accept that none of those things are going to have to knock the Saints out of the playoffs this year because they will not win the Super Bowl with Drew Brees' arm. I just wanted to say that slowly. The Goodness. Saints will not win the Super Bowl on Drew Brees' arm. Marcus, your turn. Well, I didn't have a win in the Super Bowl, but I live, I've, I've lived and I grew up in Louisiana and I plan <laughs> on going back home at some point for the rest of my life. So I am not about to sit in stew with you and Mina Kimes right now. You, this is so <laughs> blasphemous, I can't stand it. We just got done talking about Jameis Winston throwing 30 interceptions. You know who else they ain't gonna go to a damn Super Bowl with? Jameis Winston. So listen, I'm gonna give Drew Brees the time and the respect to see if he can bounce back. I understand what both of you are saying. You I know so we evaluate scary. this thing a lot different than everybody else. So but scary. I am not going there right now to say Drew Brees is done. Right no way, in. no how. Hey, speaking of scary, Ryan, we will Ball. give you a moment to go check outside your window and see if there's any Saints fans out there. They may not have gotten there Laura, yet, but they're going to be there. Laura. It's right Laura. there. Yes. 
we we have to pay attention to Ryan Clark and Mina Kimes' mentions for the next, like, six days. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because yeah, this is mentioned. about to be a bonanza. <laughs> They're going to blow up. This All is right. about to be a bonanza. It's about to be a bonanza. It's going to be great. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.